All right, guys, what's up? It's Friday again, and I'm back. I'm back, should be back into a routine now. It's been a little bit crazy. It's been a bit of a whirlwind, but get it. Guess what? We're back. Dallas is back, so you're probably gonna hear him snoring. Hey, aren't you? Come here, come here. Look, everyone wants to see you. Everyone wants to see you. Say, hey man, hey man. Look this way, look at that way. Look at, no, look at the screen. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I'm back, Dallas is back, we're back. Right, so, first things first. Sorry I didn't upload last week. Um, I did uh, upload to my story as to why. It's, as I said, it's been a bit of a whirlwind over the last couple of weeks with ABT starting back up after basically the apocalypse of 2020 and everyone freaking out. Um, ABT started back up again. The uh, first round back, which was the second round of the year, but really it was supposed to be round five. So there's a whole lot of confusing numbers. I'm confused. I don't really do math that well. So basically I have no idea what, let's just call it Wyvernoe, right? Wyvernoe, the hell hole, the worst place I've ever fished potentially in my life. It was, it was, I was, I wanted to cry and sit in a cold shower and just rock back and forth, just completely just distraught with everything. I actually, actually wasn't that upset. I knew it was going to be bad. Everyone knew it was going to suck. Um, I, I don't know one person that wanted to fish there, but we kind of had to. But let's start from ABT starting back. So we got the news that ABT was going to start back. Um, so I started pre-fishing for Wyvernhoe. Dallas is licking and making noise. Stop making noise. You always make a noise whenever we're on camera. Stop. So we got the uh, we got the okay to uh, fish ABT again. So I started pre-fishing for Wyvernhoe. Pre-fishing um, wasn't really that eventful, honestly. Um, I will go over this in the recap. There's actually probably not going to be <laughs> a, uh, a big whole uh, YouTube clip uh, film cool looking stuff like I usually do because uh, I like didn't catch any fish. So, so like I was going to try and scrap together something but honestly it's just me talking about how bored I was and how terrible the fishing was. So I'm kind of going to scrap that, but I will just, I'll, I'll do a recap 2020 and um, go over it with you guys. So I'll probably drop that next week. Uh, I have got something else on the way too. So the videos are starting to come back, right? I'm starting to get back into routine. My boat is all back, looking good, nice and wrapped, the rub rails on, everything is ready to go. Um, except for the new car, that's still We've just had too much stuff on. Work's been busy, blah, blah, But, why am I done? I'm thirsty, so let's kick it off, right? Happy Friday. Cheers, cheers to being back. Uh, I know, it's, it's in a weird glass, I got my bourbon. It's in a weird glass, I know, don't judge me. Everything's in the dishwasher and it's dirty. No, no, it's dirty. So, yeah, that's that. Hey, bourbon still tastes good out of that glass. I don't care, because it's Friday! Scared the shit out of Dallas. Right, along with that, I got my cola clouds, which the whole e-juice vape thing hasn't been banned just yet. That's all been put on hold, so I can still vape some nicotine and get some nicotine into me. Thank Christ for that. That would have just really just been the cherry on top of 2020 because 2020 has kind of sucked a lot so far. I'm sure with everyone else, drop some comments below. Tell us how your 2020 has been actually. If yours has been good, that's awesome, bro. But mine's kind of sucked. <laughs> Liam's has kind of sucked. Hey, Liam. What? Has your 2020 sucked? Shit. Yeah, see? Oh, shit. <laughs> so, at least we're kind of moving in the right direction. But um, Wyvernhoe, complete write-off. I knew it was going to be, literally, the fishing was that bad, 
Only one person weighed a full bag of fish for only one of the days, right? Like Dave Browning, congratulations, bro, you fished well. It was, it was slow, it was a grind. 32 out of 32 boats were pretty much ice jigging all day for both of the days. So you know when everyone's ice jigging that the fish are shut down and the fishing is absolutely horrifically bad. Um, yeah, but that's enough. I'll go over more of that in the, uh, in the 2020. So, um, straight off the back of Wyvernhoe, I got home on the Sunday. So I was gone, I left on the Thursday. It's only like an hour away, hour and 20 away from me, but I sort of had a half day Thursday. Went down, set up camp. Um, Pre-fished Friday, uh, tournament Saturday, Sunday. Came home on the Sunday, Arvo. Um, and then worked Monday, Tuesday, and then shot out to Somerset. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because that weekend, which was last weekend, was the last weekend for us to pre-fish before the pre-fish ban kicked in for the Somerset round, which is literally not this weekend, it's the next weekend. So, as I said, it's been a whirlwind. I did put on my story why I couldn't, um, couldn't do a Friday video, I just didn't have the time. After coming back and sort of unpacking and re-rigging ready for Somerset, um, with work and everything and yeah, it was just too much. So apologies. I did put up some stories for you guys to watch anyway So hopefully that got you through But we're back. So Somerset uh, pre-fished um, Went all right. I probably won't say too much just yet until the tournament is done. That's if the tournament happens It's all now the Victoria is literally spiraling out of control. New South Wales is starting to uh, get cases Queensland now has had a couple of confirmed cases from um, from people that travelled down south. So uh, I think the other day uh, some of the borders had shut to some places. So uh, yeah, we're all sort of on the edge as to if the Queensland border will completely shut or not. Um, maybe by this weekend or something. I, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to shut. Um, Realistically, I'm on the. I think they should shut. Um, at the same time, as I don't agree with, you, you're not going to be able to run away from this forever. Um, let's at least get our country sorted first and in a good space, rather than going backwards. So, yeah, if the border's shut, I don't know what that means for ABT. I think that kind of means ABT is done for the year. Um, I mean, our last qualifying round was Somerset. It's coming up. Uh, it's our last chance to qualify for Grand Final, which is up at Lake Tania. Lake Cania has always been nice to me. I've had some really good finishes on Cania. I love fishing Cania. But um, it's all up in the air, let alone Australian Open down in Glenbourne in like October or September. No, I think it's October. Oh, it could be September. I don't know. September, October. But regardless, I don't think that's going to go ahead. Uh, with the borders and everything like that, I would be surprised if it went ahead, which sucks because that's big money. But um, health and safety comes first. And I'd be happy to write this year off, to be honest. I just, give me a chance to save money, give me a chance to, give everyone a chance to start 2021 fresh and um, kind of just erase this year and literally just start again. We'll just have a redo of this year next year. But, so that's what's been going on. There's been a whole whirlwind of stuff. I've been really busy. Um, I haven't even been able to have time to try and upload some stuff onto Instagram. There's been a couple. Um, I do have a, uh, an article that was published in the uh, Tackle Tactics uh, newsletter uh, today, actually. So, if you guys haven't subscribed to the Tackle Tactics newsletter and you want to read my article, I will uh, see if I can drop a link in the description box below. You can subscribe to the newsletter. There's just some cool stuff, articles written by people, Mui, that you guys can um, check out. It's about blades. So you guys know how much I love a blade. I uh, sort of delve into uh, kind of the places that I like to hit and I kind of look for and the sort of things I do to my blade that, um, I don't know, catches more fish. So if you want to read that article, Check it out in the Tackle Tactics newsletter. You can subscribe down below. It doesn't cost anything, but um, I'll, I'll drop it in the in the description box below. 
other than that, guys, um, that kind of just about wraps it up for a Friday. I've got everything um, said that I needed to say. Wyvernhoe, done. 2020 is, uh, is coming. The recap of that is coming. There will be no video. I know, sorry. <laughs> I didn't catch anything. So uh, that was a giant waste of money and time. And it wasn't fun. I'm not going to lie. I usually have fun. But I probably actually would have preferred to work. <laughs> rather than sit for three days doing a miserable six knots. Not catching anything. And just honestly my brain melting it out of my ears. Um, that's it. That's it. Me and Macca are going to Barumba tomorrow. I'm going to be doing some filming. So make sure you keep your eyes out for that. That'll be a cracker. I haven't fished for Barumba for ages, but uh, I've been dying to get back up to Barumba. I wanted to go the other weekend. One, it was raining. And two, Noosa Fish Heads uh, had their little competition up there, which Jimbo actually won. Jimbo, man, congratulations, bro. That's a sick effort. Uh, Jimbo is a friend of mine. Um, he actually imports all the Nichols spoons in Australia, Nichols lures. Um, runs the Barumba Caravan Park or whatever. So Jimbo, if you're watching this, bro, congratulations. That was that was awesome or really cool to see. But that's it. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up, guys. Uh, I'll go over some subscribers and stuff next week. I'm just going to keep this one short and sweet because I've got stuff to do. I've got too much stuff to do. I've got to make sure my boat's charged up and ready for tomorrow. Should be a good day. But guys, thanks for watching. All right, we're back. We're back on track. We're back in routine. 2020 is back with a bang. The tournaments are coming. Hopefully, hopefully, I'll end up finishing the year okay. I'll just have to win Somerset. Easy. No worries. Langers, look out. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. That way I can keep on bringing videos like this to you guys. And I promise I'm going to have some more interesting videos coming up now. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. They're coming. They're coming down the line. I'm editing them at the moment. Well, not like right now because I'm here with you guys drinking on a Friday afternoon. But I am editing them anyway. While you're there, jump over to Keegan Painter Fishing on Instagram and Facebook. Check me out over there. Make sure you follow me and you can check out some cool stuff there. I do have a TikTok too. I do need to post some stuff on that. Keegan Painter Fishing all across the board. Subscribe, follow, like, all of that stuff. I'm going. Have a good weekend, guys. Cheers to that. Cheers, cheers, cheers out of my weird glass. And um, I'll see you guys next week. I'm out. Get up now. Okay.